Oh my god. Ah, my. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Alright. Actually, gotta make the video. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to a very, very, very special Help Wanted video where we have a PlayStation website up, we have the official Steam page up, we even have a new voice actress that is going to be in the game. Maybe for Chica, but we're gonna get on that later. But we are about two weeks away from the release of Help Wanted, so we're in the end game now. Anyway, some very excited stuff. I literally just got home. I saw stuff on Reddit happening, so I, I haven't really taken a look at the Steam page or the PlayStation stage, uh, stage, um, site. But I do know that a few more characters have been revealed, some new screenshots, and honestly, the game is coming along very, very well. So let's just jump into it. Starting off with maybe something a little less exciting, but the voice actress for possibly Chica. So again, this isn't as exciting as the Steam page and the PlayStation stage. Why do I keep saying stage? The Steam page and the PlayStation page. But it is very, very important because if you saw the last video talking about Freddy getting a voice, this actually kind of reflects that, I guess you could say. So basically yesterday, Hannah Laurel left a response to Scott for the job singing performers. Now this is entirely different from his request, his request for a Freddy voice. Now this is singing performers saying, this was such a unique and fun character to perform. I can't wait to see, hear her, see, hear how she turns out in the game. Now the reason why I'm calling Chica on this, not only is the character in the game a female, not only is the um, the voice a female because Hannah Lowell, 2019, but that is a very feminine name. So I'm guessing this is Chica. We know that there is probably most likely going to be a stage performance happening in VR. So that's really all my evidence for this being Chica's voice. It seems, it doesn't seem that far-fetched in my opinion, maybe it does for you guys, but um, yeah, it's called Singing Performers. Unless there's gonna be some other singing character in the game, maybe Ballora's gonna be in it, we don't actually know if she's gonna be in it, pretty sure, um, where she sings her song, but in that case, I'm pretty sure that the voice actress for Ballora would come back, Michelle Moss. But this seems like a completely new character, this seems like a completely new actress, a completely new voice, and the only character, um, well, not the only character, Chica was one of the only characters to not have a voice in Custom Night, and I'm pretty sure that she is officially getting a voice, possibly just like Bonnie and Freddy, in Help Wanted. But now, this is, this is it. Voices.com is linked below. Now let's move on to the PlayStation VR or I guess just the PlayStation page for FNAF VR. The PlayStation.com games Five Nights at Freddy's VR help wanted for PlayStation 4, obviously. Here is what appears to be the official logo or box art for the game. Um, I'm pretty, actually I have no clue to assume whether it will be, end up being a physical copy thing that you can pick up. I don't know a whole lot about <laughs> physical copy and digital copies of games, maybe you guys are educated or and can tell me below. So here it is, PSVR required, Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. FNAF VR Help Wanted is a collection of classic and original minigames set in the Five Nights universe. Survive terrifying encounters with your favorite killer animatronics in a collection of new and classic FNAF experiences where fantasy and fun comes to life. Release date, 21st of May 2019, genre, horror slash puzzle, developer, Steel Wool Games, and publisher, Scott Games, or Scott Coffin. Off to the right, you have the trailer that we have previously covered. It is completely the same, I've already looked at it, so there was nothing new. This is a brand new, can I get that top bit out of the way? This is a completely new screenshot. It is official, we'll see more screenshots down below. Chica looks a bit derpy, but <laughs> I think that's just the view. 
Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted is a collection of... Oh wait, we already did that. Oopsie. Anyways, new, new screenshot, which is very, very interesting. This is also a new screenshot. Get a better look right here. Wow, that'll probably also be in the thumbnail. I don't know. There is lockers behind there. And there was a tool table. We're gonna be repairing Freddy. We already know how this works. Open up his stomach. And there's a shoe in there. We're gonna fix some wires. We already know how it's gonna roll. Um, you're hired. Time to get your hands dirty. Repair... Huh. Ooh, that's a big word. Man, this really just shows how stupid I am. Claustrophobic ventilation systems. How did I ever mess that up? I am... Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Claustrophobic ventilation systems troubleshoot broken animatronics that could activate at any moment, we've kind of seen that with Foxy, or spend your evening covering, cowering in the nighttime security guard office. Celebrate! Confront your favorite killer animatronics, including Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Springtrap, The Mangle, Funtime Foxy, and Circus Baby. Fun fun prizes, toys, plushies, bobbleheads, and candy, candy, candy. Earn super fun prizes you can play with at the interactive prize counter. Collect well hidden fast tokens to unlock even more rare collectibles for more super fun fun fun. And it appears that this is the prize corner, or maybe it is a representation of the plushies, the bob heads, and all that junk. Um, but anyways, whether or not it is, got a fun time foxy plushie right here, some boxes, crates, which the crates kind of look like number one crate, ironically. We got the plush babies back there in a ginormous Toy Freddy plushie. And a little vent behind there, and those checkerboards on the wall make me feel like this is FNAF 2, and it is because of the prize corner. <laughs> Pizza Party. Scenes from classic titles have been updated and remade for a fully immersive VR experience, including FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, and, Sen and, sh and Sister Location. So it appears that no Pizzeria Simulator or Custom Night will be in VR, but you know what? We still have 40 plus minigames, so that is going to be crazy nonetheless. And down below is possibly the best thing about this page. Not only does it have a new character, at least one new character in it, as far as I remember, it has, I think it was about 20 screenshots. Most of them we've seen, but some we have not. So, are you ready to see the new character? It's, uh, yeah. It's Bonnet, or Bonbon. Bon. Honestly, I can't... Um, it appears it is Bonnet. I'm looking, I have a FNAF poster over there that has both Bonbon bon and Bonnet, so I'm trying to tell it, it really could be either one. But based on the red lighting makes it really, really difficult, but I'm guessing it's Bonnet because Bonbon bon is usually attached to Funtime Freddy. And we all know that Funtime Freddy is going to be in FNAF 4, in the FNAF 4 office with us, or I guess the FNAF 4 bedroom. But who knows, maybe this is a detached version of Bonnet. I mean, Bonbon, bon, we have seen it before. Or it could be Bonnet. Though it does look a bit of a pink, a little bit pink. Can't talk, like usual. But then again, that could just be the red hue. So, screenshots. The majority of these are new. Like this one right here, featuring our favorite and beloved Fred Bear. I'm actually gonna take my face cam away from this so that you guys can see the whole, the whole, the entirety of the screenshots. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. Never mind, you can actually see pretty well. I didn't realize that. Anyways, this is Fred Bear. They have changed his colors. If you remember in the trailer, he was brown, just like Freddy. It appears that Scott did keep his promise and they have changed him to look just like Fred Bear in FNAF 4, which is awesome. It's got the purple bow tie, the black and white buttons. I love that little detail. I'm so glad they got that. Onwards, we have Foxy. As you can see, there's still sticky notes down there. It looks like there's a can of paint up there. I can't, I can't zoom in on it, unfortunately. But this is a brand new screenshot. We got some gears here, possibly. Actually, those look a bit too big to go inside of Foxy. Um, got a little plushie here. As you can see, the addition and subtraction symbols with the little electric buttons on him. 
and it's a new angle so we can see a bit more of him, we can see a little bit more of his jaw, or I guess not his jaw, the inside mechanisms of his endoskeleton mouth. We can also see his eye socket a little bit better, and it still doesn't look like he has feet. <laughs> Fantastic. Next one we've seen, it's Mangle in the vents. We've also seen this minigame in full detail now, which is awesome. Onwards, seen this one, Circus Baby in the FNAF 4 bedroom, just looking through us, looking through us, looking at us with her glowing red eyes, very, very appealing. This one, I'm pretty sure we've seen, but just in case we haven't, it's the FNAF 1 office, pretty simple. Looking at the cameras, Chica's in the dining room, and something that's going to be super, super awesome in Help Wanted is that it's no longer static images, we actually see the characters moving around in full animation, so that's going to be terrifying. Also, it's 2 a.m. A little clock right there. What's going to be cool is that, oh, there's actually little stickers saying what camera you're looking at. That's awesome. FNAF 3, we have the phone right here, we got the clock, the fan, most importantly. The light, which may be for the vent. Actually, yes, it's going to be for the vent, because there is a vent to our, off to our right in FNAF 3. We can just never see it. That's how Springtrap gets to us from the vents. Again, the cameras, no labels this time, which is interesting, but it does still say Cam 6. Uh, that's Cam 7, 7, 6, 8, you get it. Right now we're in Cam 4, looking at the Foxy Mask. <clears throat> this one we've also seen in a trailer, not as a screenshot, however. It's Funtime Foxy peering, peering at us from the hallway in FNAF 4. Nothing really different. It does. I feel like those doorknobs were a different color in the FNAF 4, but it's just a doorknob. Here we have another angle of Foxy. Pretty good. Look at his jaw a bit more. Look at his eyes. Man, there's gonna be so many thumbnail worthy images. Sorry if the thumbnail is just a mess of images. <laughs> like, these, this is incredible. Honestly, it's possibly one of the best days for images because we're only two weeks away. You know, got the puppet coming down the FNAF 2 hallway, ginormous. We actually are going to see her walk in full animation as well. The circus baby plushies we've seen. We kind of know a little bit how they are. We do know that they're enemies because they do have a jump scare. They actually have two. One jump scare is just with one of them. The second one is with all three or possibly more. We're halfway through the images, guys. Chica, we've seen with the buttons to take off her mask. Be smoked, get rid of all the cockroaches and the rodents and all that stuff. And yep, that's it. Freddy, we've seen again with the shoe, opening up his stomach to reveal all his wires and everything. Gonna repair that. Toy Freddy, I believe we've seen Mason, please stop barking. I believe, stop. I believe we've seen this, but I don't know if I covered it in great detail. But just in case I did, I'm gonna go over it again. So we got Toy Freddy here in the FNAF 2 office. Peering at us, I'm guessing we are gonna have to put on a mask when he eventually comes into our office to get rid of him. But that's gonna be interesting, seeing an animatronic like this far away from you in VR. Terrifying. Puppet, we've seen. Uh, Bonnie, we've seen. Uh, Springtrap, we've seen this one, but I feel like I didn't go over it a bit. Um, ventilation thing right here to reboot all our systems. We press these buttons, um, to, to reboot the one you want, is what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm running out of breath here, guys. Springtrap looming over us in the doorway. We got our coffee vending machine over there. The parts and service bucket, the fan, paperwork, the phone, all that stuff. Huh. Huh. This is the one we saw at the top of the store. It's Chica peering. Why do I keep saying peering? Peering through us, looking at us through the window in FNAF 1. Not really much to say here. We got the cameras, the fan, our power is on a monitor, which is a good. We have another monitor here. We have a ringing phone. Possibly Darko just uploaded a video about this. Now everyone's gonna say, oh, you're copying him. Ready? Aha! Uh -huh. New from Darko. The best screenshots we have seen. There's your proof that I did it first. Alright, stop saying I copy him. Yeah, Chica, right there. Not much else to say. Freddy, I believe we've seen this one. We have with the lockers back there. We know what's gonna happen. This one we've seen, gone over it. And the final one is 
a closer look at Bonnet or Bon Bon peering through the drawer. Again, I don't know if this is Bonnet or Bon Bon. I'm going with Bonnet just because I really want her to be in it. I want as many characters in this game as possible. It's going to be amazing if it has just loads and loads of characters. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Anyways, that is it for the PlayStation VR um, store. Now we're going to move on to Steam. This is Steam, all games, action games, FNAF franchise, finance, Freddy's VR, help wanted. All capitalized, by the way. Really shouting it out there. Um, here we have the logo, Final Fantasy VR, Help Wanted is a virtual reality experience for the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. FNAF VR HW is a collection of classic and original minigames set in the Five Nights universe. Developer, Steel Wall, Scott, May 21st. We're gonna go through this pretty quickly because most of it was on the PlayStation site. We've got the, the image, Freddy, Bonnet, Price Counter, the Nightmare, the trailer, which we've seen. Notice, requires one of the following virtual reality headsets, Vive or Oculus, see the VR section for more info. Available the 21st, approximately two weeks. Final Nights Freddy's VR, believe, yep, we've seen this all. System requirements, most of you may want to see this. OS, Windows 8, processor, Intel i5, 4, 590 or greater. AMD FX 8350 or greater. I don't know what any of these mean. Memory, 9 gigabytes of RAM, I know that. Graphics, Nevada, GeForce, GFuel. <laughs> uh, GTX 970 AMD, or not, you guys can read this on your own time. I have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm not even kidding. All right, so single player Steam achievements. Steam is learning about this game. Um, VR support, Vive, Rift, tracked motion controllers, seated or standing, which is very interesting. Interface, it's all English. Uh, fantasy violence, obviously. All this stuff we know, and that is it. Not really much, it, just throwing it out there that there is a Steam page for this. It's because it's raining outside, it looks like I put a filter <laughs> on, on the webcam to make it all dark and, and gloomy. Anyways. That is the PlayStation site and the Steam page and the new voice actress for Chica. Again, there were loads of images, there was loads of information. If this was all too much for you, everything that we covered is linked down below. The Steam, PS4, and the voice actress are all linked below. You can check those out for yourself in detail so you can possibly go over it at your own pace because this was, was a lot of information in about probably 20-ish minutes. I, Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot. Loads of images. Don't know what I'm gonna do for a thumbnail. It's it's honestly crazy. Anyways, that was it. Two more weeks to go. We are in the end game officially. So thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.